हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड दिस इज द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ द एफ थर्टी ब्लॉग सीरीज विच आई स्टार्टेड सम टाइम बैक सो द इंटेंशन टू स्टार्ट द एफ थर्टी ब्लॉग्स वॉज टू कीप यू ऑल अपडेटेड ऑन माई बी एम डब्ल्यूज इन दिस केस द एफ थर्टी थ्री ट्वेंटी एट आई सो आई रीबिल्ड इट एंड दैट दैट इज द कैप्शन आई यूज इन द थमनेल सो मोर ऑन दैट दिस F30 has gone through a rough past few months and I would like to uh, give you all a, a flashback of what has happened in the last few months starting off with uh, an accident so the F30 was involved in an accident earlier this year and it was a pile up on the Eastern Express highway five cars i believe you know were involved in that accident and uh, one after another it was uh, just at the start of the flyover uh, where suddenly someone braked hard and the one two three four and i was the fifth one hope you know and thankfully no one was behind me and the car uh, got damaged i tried to brake uh, but uh, it was too late and uh, sometimes you know the how accidents are so that really uh, damaged the frontal portion of uh, the car there was the grill was completely gone and that was the m sport grill the bumper was damaged and everything else looked good this also gave me an idea and and an impression on how strong the f30 chassis is and it was a good impact but uh, it took it well and uh, so the car had to be uh, you know repaired and uh, thankfully i had the original uh, sportline grill with me it had a chrome surround but that's okay so the, so the car is back to stock when it comes to the exterior appearance on the front so this was solved until the monsoons came in and i thought it was just the grill it was just the bumper and a paint job required at the front so that i was wrong because the headlight also had some cracks and uh, in the monsoons i noticed a water seeping in and uh, just uh, you know a week or so into monsoons the headlight was in a very bad shape it needed a change 10 plus years into ownership insurance claim claiming the headlight would be really expensive the headlight was costing around a lakh of rupee uh, for a you know 2012 f30 that was a bit too much and uh, those were not even leds those were xenons so i did not want to actually go in for and uh, complete new headlight so i started looking in the aftermarket and aftermarket solutions are not good and uh, thankfully surprisingly there was one headlight one headlight for sale and uh, that i picked it up at a really good bargain and it was uh, similarly aged as uh, my current headlight so everything went well and uh, so that was uh, you know setback number 2 which was uh, again solved uh, relatively in a pocket friendly manner after that i faced a breakdown and uh, this breakdown was uh, something which was uh, not expected and uh, because the f30 has been in very good shape always been maintained at the uh, official bmw service center so the car was uh, you know i just started, i just reversed my car uh, from my apartment and uh, i put it into d and uh, just half a kilometer out the car broke down and uh, thankfully the car was in neutral uh, it did not go into p i had to push the car to safety and i had to call a flatbed from uh, the bmw service center the next day i got a call from the service center and i got updated that uh, this breakdown was caused due to a uh, faulty fuel pump a failing fuel pump and uh, this was due to the age and uh, this had to be completely replaced and uh, thankfully they had a fuel pump in stock not in bmw but at their bmw's uh, pune warehouse so it took 2 uh, 3 days for the part to come in and uh, i got it installed happily thought the performance should be back and indeed it the car felt really sprightly a new pump would always uh, do that to your car and uh, that was done so that was done but just 
then coming a couple of days later i again faced a similar breakdown just this time in my office and uh, this was completely having similar traits but the car started and died so i would have uh, i gave it a thought that this might be due to a bad job uh, done on the fuel pump maybe there is air in the system or something of that sort so again i called the service center on uh, you know again for a another flat bed so the car was again put on a flat bed i'm telling you this is not a good thing to see your car on a flat bed and yes so this time again it went to the official bmw service center for the di- diagnosing surprisingly the car was diagnosed the next day itself and it was not the fuel pump this time it was not anything related to the fuel pump job but it was diagnosed to the steinbauer power module which had failed due to water seepage in it and that that was uh, something of a surprise because uh, the steinbauer power module has a very tight construction a good build it's not a cheap box and uh, maybe it's uh, you know i place it somewhere here just around the upper right part of the bonnet there is a good space here so maybe during washing or uh, rains or sometimes bmw also they do an internal uh, uh, the uh, during the uh, post service wash they do wash the bonnet area also so maybe that high pressure uh, would have actually seeped through the steinbauer power module and that would have caused a malfunctioning of the steinbauer uh, so i had to remove that box and uh, that was done and the car now is back to stock performance wise as well uh, not entirely <clears throat> i am running a m performance exhaust i am running an engine intake so these two mods are there to make the cars sound good yeah it sounds good it's not even in sport mode right now so yeah this is so this is these are the couple of mods which the car is running and uh, unfortunately or fortunately it is also a good thing if you look at it you know if i really intend to keep the f30 for long and uh, you know maybe it's uh, best to keep it stock if i want to keep it trouble free and uh, this is done so it's owning a german car for long term it is always important to have that i'll rebuild it attitude and there are going to be breakdowns you know it's a machine it has to break down now and now or sometime later maybe due to some parts failing or due to some job not done uh, not being done properly so it's important to have that i'll rebuild it attitude if you want to keep your car your german for the long term not only for the cars this attitude is also good for in in your personal lives as well that i i'll rebuild it attitude you know last month i was down with uh, bad health and uh, that was uh, it took took maybe a good amount of days for me to recover but i thought i'll rebuild the health back so that attitude helps in your personal lives as well so car got into an accident no problem it's crashed i'll rebuild it the car broke down once no problem i'll rebuild it the car broke down twice no problem i'll rebuild it my health got bad no problem i'll rebuild my health because my health was bad i was not able to go to to the gym for my workouts my physique is down no problem i'll rebuild it and on that motivational note thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one